Here behind me we have Audi 100 Coupe uh, from uh, Ferdinand Buditsky Museum in Zagreb, Croatia. Uh, run exclu exclusively by enthusiasm for those beautiful cars. Uh, this uh, this car was pretty rare, and it's, it's even rarer today. Audi 100 was uh, was a typical luxury, uh, not a luxury, but the executive sedan at the time, and uh, they wanted to make a sport version of that, the sport coupe, which would be a, a grand tourer coupe. They made that uh, commercially not not very successful. Not not many of them have been made, but a very beautiful car. Uh, it has a similar design uh, to Ferra to Fiat Dino Coupe, uh, and um, it is a nice fastback. Uh, I think that the design really complements this car perfectly. It it's a more luxury inside than the. Than the typical Audi 100, that it has the the wood uh, accents, uh, um, it has a leather interior inside, uh, very nice hubcaps for the time, uh, and uh, there is a this uh, this air vents at the at the back at the rear pillar. Uh, they complement the car uh, really nice. I think this uh, the silver metallic uh, color. Um, really, really suits the car very well. Inside you have the the, the black leather uh, leather seats, and uh, this was the way um, in uh, in late 60s, uh, late 60s to um, to cover the the distances in a sport style. It looks sporty from the front. He has a nice uh, fog lights. Usually. They look a bit like the sedan version from the front, but none of the panels are usually the same on these cars. Um, it has a nice alloy wheels. Uh, this color, this silver color, suits it very well. It's, uh, the silhouette from the side is beautiful. It has a beautiful rear window and the side vents, uh, which are chromed uh, on the black. And from the front, from the back, it's, uh, it's uh, unique. It has the unique uh, brake lights. And uh, it's a complete fastback. The fastback goes uh, uh, to, the, to the light panel.